Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to my hobby space. Today, I'm making sprue glue using Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Over the summer vacation, my son did an interesting science project. He tried to find something that would dissolve my extra sprues. We spent an evening breaking these up with clippers. We got a whole bunch of little sprue pieces. Now I plan on using all these extra pieces to make some sprue glue. Only two things dissolved the sprues. The first was paint thinner. It didn't completely dissolve the sprues either. It just kind of melted them together into a big glob of pieces that still kind of have their shape, but they're kind of all melted together. The second item that dissolved the plastic sprues was acetone. I've got a jar of acetone and sprue. What I have here is Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. The main ingredient of this is acetone. I'm going to take some of these extra sprues that we have for my son's science project. And I'm going to add them to this half bottle. It'll take a few hours for it to completely dissolve. Then we'll have some really good sprue goo to fill in gaps. Stay around to the very end if you want a money saving tip for Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. All you really need for this project is a good pair of nippers and a bunch of old sprues. You can cut the sprues into small pieces. This piece is a little bit too large. You want to get them nice and really small so that you can fit them in to the bottle easily and so that you'll get a lot of surface area so that they'll melt quickly and evenly. Oftentimes, when you have sprues, you'll have little nubs and things sticking off. These nubs are kind of a good size. That one's too small. You don't want little shavings, but just little nubbins. Some nice little small pieces like that will do just fine. Do be careful when you're clipping so they don't go shooting everywhere. If you walk around the house barefoot, these are going to hurt if you step on them. Uh, if someone wants measurements, like, oh, how many inches is that? Or how many centimeters is that? Four or five millimeter, less than an eighth of an inch little bits. Just get them nice and small so that they fit in the bottom. Now I've got a whole bunch of these sprues all chopped up. What I want to do is fill this up so that they're just covered. When you got to put little pieces into a very thin neck like this, just a simple tip, take a white piece of paper or just whatever you got laying around. Make yourself a simple little funnel. Using an old brush, I'm just going to push them away from the center so I can get the cap back on. Models are often made of pieces. When you make them, you'll often get little lines and places that are left with gaps that need to be filled. Around here on his neck that need to get cleaned up. And a few on his tail that are just lines that are not the worst, but if I could fix them and fill them up with some goo, and then file them flat, I'd be really happy about that. I let this Tamiya and sprue sit overnight. It's been sitting in there for about 10 hours. Kind of hard to see, but it's all completely melted together. You give it a good stir. Give it a good stir. It seems there's some settling at the bottom. Okay, now I have a very old brush here. I'm just gonna try it out on the drummer first. Let's see how it goes. Hey, okay, wow, it seems to be working. Filled in the gap pretty well. Once it's hardened, I'll sand it down and then maybe fill it in a little bit more. Just gonna dab it on. 
seems to work best. Dabby dabby doo. There's a small crease here on the back of this chair. I'm going to try to fix that. And there's a seam on the front of the chair. Let's cover it up. What do I do with that? Let's see. Wipe. Yes, the acetone is somewhat flammable. After letting your sprue glue harden for a while, come back, choose your weapon of choice for filing down and cleaning up your normal sprue lines, and you're good to go. And if you notice that there's still a little bit of a gap left, after you've cleaned it up, you can just add more and come back and do it again. And they might need to be done twice. Looks a lot better. I did the back of his drum. It's not perfectly smooth. Got some fine sandpaper. That'll work too. It's just kind of a cut, sand, repeat until you get it to what you want. Good enough for me, there's no more crack there. Down here there is a big line and it's no longer visible. So there was a line and now there's not. Thanks for watching that video everybody. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like and the subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that bell notification so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos that I might make. I'm really enjoying making these videos and I really hope that you're enjoying watching them. If you've got any comments, questions or anything else regarding the videos, the process, anything going on, please comment down below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I applied the sprue goo and I went over the material and I let it sit for about three or four hours before I went back over it with the scraper and the sanding paper and stuff. Depending on your climate, if it's drier, wetter, hotter, colder, it might change that time. So just keep an eye on it for the first couple times you do it and figure out what works for your situation. You might need to add another coat after you've done the first coat. Don't worry about that. That's just part of the hobby. Um, just get it to the way you like it and have fun. Thanks so much for watching again and please come back for my next video. See you next time. next time you run out of Tamiya extra thin cement you can just get some Tamiya airbrush cleaner it'll work just fine the formula for this stuff is 50 50 butyl acetate and acetone Tamiya airbrush cleaner the formula for this is 49 to 51 percent butyl acetate to acetone which means they're almost exactly the same. I can buy this 40 milliliter jar for $2.50 here in Japan. I bought this 250 milliliter jug of it for $3.50. So I'm getting six times as much for an extra dollar. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. See you next time.